you know ET has been riding with you for a long time. I mean, the longest time ever. The longest time. I know. And you know we're so excited about I know what you did last summer coming back. What are you waiting for, huh? What are you waiting for? I see the smile on your face. So confirmed you're back. Julie James is back. I can't confirm, but I won't deny. How about that? I will take that. Okay. Let's just play hypothetically. If she was to come back in 2024, yeah. what does that look like? Well, she's old. I can oh. tell you that much. She's a lot. Oh, she's 45. Um, she's a lot older than she was, which got, but um, but still kick ass yeah. for sure. Yeah. Okay. So we're still going down the dark horror route. Is it more of a focus now on a new generation of kids? Here's the truth. I don't actually know what they have planned. Okay, so you haven't seen um, a script yet? I have not. I have not seen that yet, um, but I'm assuming that it'll be lots of screaming and running around and, you know, hopefully the tops will be a little bigger than they were the first movie. <laughs> Wardrobe department. Yeah. Do Jennifer a solid. Just, Please. I'm 45. You know, Please. it's fine. Listen, that was a beautiful segue because you know fans would love to see you on Dancing with the Stars. Oh God! You're on an ABC I show. I do it so bad. So what's the holdup? I'm scared. Really? Yeah, I'm really scared. You know, we just spoke with Derek Huff recently. He said that you and him had a conversation about it. Yeah. I think she'll be on there Who's, one day. Who, Jennifer, Jennifer Love you. you? You think? I think someday. Yeah. Okay. She was at the finale last season, and so she's and a I, fan. And I told her I was like, he's like, you yeah, let's go. And, and she's, she's like, she's like, oh, no. baby. You've got such an amazing mentor and friend in him. You know, know nothing would happen. I know. But what if it did? Like, what if it did and then I was like that lady who like fell on her face or forgot her, you know, moves? You, do I need to remind you that you are a certifiable musician? I appreciate you. Okay. you I, have if stage I, presence. Here's the thing. If I can get my confidence up, I'm there. Okay, so what's I it? I would love to do it. Really? Okay. I would. So maybe we throw it out there and manifest. This fall on ABC. Okay. Jennifer Love you. Dun, 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 There you go. Mm -hmm. yeah. Love it. Who's the dream partner? Alan. What is it about Alan? I just think we would be really funny together because we're both like golden retrievers. And I just feel like we would be, we would be funny and we would have fun. And he's amazing. Yeah, yeah he's amazing. Bobby and Athena's cruise ship may be missing. Missing? What do you mean missing? We can't find it. Oh. My goodness, 911 is back. Yep. Am I gonna see Maddie in a wedding dress? Oh, you're gonna see her in a wedding dress. Yes. Oh yeah. My gosh. Mm -hmm. You know, fans have really been waiting for this Chim and Maddie wedding. Me too. Really? Yes. Hey. Hi. Don't worry. It's worse than it looks. <laughs> oh, I'm fine. Guys, because you're not getting out of marrying me that easy. <laughs> what can you tell me about this wedding? Are you going all out? Um, it's a it's a ride. It's a ride. It is, it is more of a, a wild ride and less of a walk down the aisle, I can tell you that. Oh my God. But it's all fun. It's really fun. I want Maddie to have her happily ever after. Well, she will. She, she, will. Will. she will. I can promise that. But this is 911. There's a few hiccups. I mean, you have to. You have to make it fun to get there, you know? Of yeah. Listen, speaking of hiccups, elsewhere in the 911 universe, Athena and Bobby, they yeah. finally get to go on this honeymoon. Yeah. But unfortunately, nothing goes according to plan. Somebody save me. I will never get on a boat again as no, long as I live. Start. Nope, I'm okay. done. Mm -hmm. I heard that you guys broke a record with this room roll. Did you get to experience that at all? I did not. I only heard about it. I only answer the calls. I don't get to run there. Um, <laughs> I was really glad on this one because they worked a lot of hours and really crazy like conditions. But um, yeah, it's it's wild. Like I don't think people are ready. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very cool. You know, thinking of the whole honeymoon got me yeah. thinking about your beautiful marriage. Do you remember your honeymoon? Can you tell us a fun story about it? Hopefully, it went better than uh, than Bobby and Athena's. I can tell you. So I um, I got married. Um, um, right before we had our daughter, she decided to come three weeks early. So my honeymoon was in labor. Um, <laughs> also a wild ride. <laughs> yeah. How, how did you keep the romance with biology kind of kicking in there? You know, here's the thing. We, um, we got married, just the two of us, in our backyard. And then we went to Bed Bath & Beyond, because that's what married people do. Absolutely. Um, and I was craving enchiladas, so we had enchiladas. And then four days later, a baby popped out, and it was just great. Nothing more beautiful than nope. that. Nope. And look at you borrowing inspiration from your own life, because Chim and Maddie are doing this at home. Right? I like the sound of that, a wedding at home. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Was that your idea? Well, you think they do it at home. Do they do it at home? 
I'm not sure. You're going to have to watch and find out. You're going to have to see. You've been amazing on, on 911 for six seasons. Yeah. How long do you see yourself part of this landscape? Oh, that's a great question. Um, I don't know. I mean, you know, as long as there's calls, I have ears. I can pick them up and just say 911, what's your emergency? Um, so I don't know as long as they'll have me.